hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far in the computer networking and uh, data communication section we are we've been discussing about physical layer and uh, we discussed the various uh, introductory concepts related to physical layer and in the previous videos we discussed some of the basic concepts related to signals okay the basic uh, definition of a signal representation of a signal and uh, also about the various characteristic features of a signal such as peak amplitude frequency time period phase wavelength okay basic concepts from the point of view of data communication so uh, in today's video we are going to uh, touch another important uh, concept related to signals basically the rep representation of signals okay so uh, today's topic is about the representation of signals in time domain and in frequency domain the two main ways in which signals are represented okay so as i said there are two ways in which signals are represented first the time domain representation with which we are uh, well acquainted with mostly the signals which we see or we study or we have studied until now be it in signals and systems or uh, communication systems or data communication it is always in time domain y equals to ft okay function of time it can be sin omega t cos omega t it can be ut unit step signal it can be rt ramp signal it can be you know the, the delta t the impulse signal or parabolic signal whatever it is it is a, it is a function of time frequency domain representation we have not discussed until now okay it is a separate thing it has a whole new you know uh, concepts and various sections associated with it which we will discuss in signals and systems in detail and will take a lot of time basically half of signals and systems is basically these uh, representation or the conversion from time domain to frequency domain this conversion basically is half of signals and systems various techniques uh, called as transformation techniques are used to convert a signal from time domain to frequency domain and again from frequency domain to time domain so that is a uh, whole new uh, section is uh, allotted for that so in this video we are just going to touch the basic thing so in time domain a signal is represented like this okay we have in the y axis signal as a function of time and this is the time axis this is a basic sinusoidal signal with the important signal characteristics amplitude time period frequency phase wavelength so these signal characteristics are used to define the nature define the behavior of the signal in when it is represented in time domain okay so basically in the time domain representation the variation of the signal amplitude with respect to time is shown okay so these things come into play amplitude time period frequency phase wavelength amplitude the maximum value peak amplitude is the maximum value of the signal time period is the time taken by the signal to complete one complete oscillation frequency number of complete oscillations in one second phase the position of the signal with respect to time t equals to 0 wavelength is the distance traveled in one time period so the variation of the amplitude with respect to time can be plotted by drawing horizontal and vertical lines at each and every point we'll get the time we'll get the amplitude at that time for example here at time t1 the amplitude is 1 at t2 it is 5 at t3 it is minus 5 and so on so we will get the values of amplitude at respective time by drawing horizontal and vertical lines touching this point that is the basic the essence of time domain representation now 
the uh, and mostly the signals uh, which we will uh, you know come across basically more than 60 or 70 percent it will be in time domain but in certain cases it is necessary to uh, represent the signal in frequency domain okay i will not go into detail why it is necessary otherwise it will be confusing so in this video we're just going to focus on what is the frequency domain representation what is its need application we'll discuss in a separate video in signals and systems okay in frequency domain two things are important okay the only two things are represented in the plot frequency domain plot first the peak amplitude second which is obvious is the frequency of the signal so it is basically an amplitude versus frequency plot this is amplitude versus time plot the time domain representation this is amplitude versus frequency so how to plot the frequency domain representation of a signal okay let us say we have this signal okay a sinusoidal signal with peak values 5 plus 5 minus 5 positive and negative peaks so the frequency of this signal in order to determine that we have to find out in one second how many complete cycles of the signal happens so here one second number of complete cycle this is one complete cycle from 0 positive negative again 0 one cycle again from 0 positive negative so two cycles this signal completes two complete cycles in one second and by definition frequency is the number of such complete cycles in one second so here it is two cycles so frequency is two hertz time period is the reciprocal of frequency which is one by two seconds time period is the time taken by the signal to complete one oscillation so it is one by two seconds so in order to plot the frequency domain representation we have to follow the definition that is peak amplitude and frequency so for this frequency the frequency of this signal is 2 hertz we found out peak value is 5 peak value is 5 the absolute value is 5 for this signal the peak value is 5 so only do these two things are needed so the frequency domain plot will look something like this at the in the horizontal axis the x axis we have the frequency in hertz and in the vertical axis or the y axis we have the amplitude so as the definition says frequency domain represent representation is concerned with only two things peak amplitude and frequency here the frequency is 2 hertz so at 2 hertz we have the peak value of the signal which is 5 absolute value of this signal the peak value it is plus 5 minus 5 so 5 only so only we have the peak value at the frequency the respective frequency so here the frequency is 2 hertz peak value is 5 so this is a vertical line at the respective frequency similarly if we take another signal another example in this signal this is one second the duration and in this one second it is completing how many oscillations complete oscillations starting from 0 1 2 3 4 4 complete oscillations 4 cycles so frequency will be 4 hertz and time period with me 1 by 4 second now here the peak value is 8 positive peak is plus 8 negative peak is minus 8 so absolute value will be 8 so the frequency domain representation of this signal will be at frequency equals to 4 hertz we have a vertical line with value 8 in the amplitude axis the vertical axis horizontal axis we have the frequency this has a frequency 4 hertz so at frequency equals to 4 hertz we have a vertical line of value 8 8 volt the peak value here so as i said frequency domain representation is concerned only with the peak amplitude and the frequency frequency 4 hertz peak value 8 volt here frequency 2 hertz peak value 5 
at frequency 2 peak value is 5 this is the frequency domain representation of this signal this is the frequency domain representation of this signal so as i said uh, the transformation from time domain to frequency domain it has various uh, techniques that are used and uh, some of the techniques are fourier transform laplace transform z transform so these uh, transformation tools are used to convert a signal from time domain to frequency domain and also the inverse Fourier transform, inverse Laplace transform, inverse Z transform are used to again reconvert it back from frequency to time domain. So uh, it, it is not necessary to discuss it in this section in computer networking and data communication. We will discuss it in signals and systems. Okay. So I don't want to discuss these things again, uh, 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 these things here in uh, the computer networking and data communication section. So I just wanted to know, uh, to let you know that this is the uh, basic concept and these are the tools that are used. We'll discuss it in signals and systems. So here we have discussed uh, the representation of signals in uh, time domain and uh, frequency domain okay for uh, we have also studied various examples so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much